So you want a donut, but you don't live next to... So you want a donut, but it's illegal where you live on Mars? Well, maybe you should join the rest of us on the sun right now because it, everything is so hot. Hey guys, I'm Matt, my Kai, I'm Kai, and today back once again taking a look at how I made this uh, cute, extremely simple um, pixel art sprite in uh, a sprite here today. So we're gonna break this down. It is probably the most simple sprite you could possibly ever make other than like, I don't know, a stick figure. I don't know, we'll see. But, um, so the first thing I wanna, I wanna have you notice is that there's literally only, uh, there's literally only six different uh, little men here. So we have these first two over here on the uh, right hand side, sorry, left hand side, sorry. Um, we have both of these guys and then we have two over here, which is from the back here. And then we have these two, which is from a side. So essentially um, what you'll do is if you're using this for a game or whatever you're using this for, this would be obviously the frontwards walking sprite. This would be the, the walking sprite from, you know, looking at the back of this character. And this would be to the right. Or um, if I was to flip this, this would be uh, to the left. So you can see that works the same way. But what we'll do now is we'll take a look at exactly how... Um, exactly how simple these really really are so we're in a 16 by 16 canvas actually technically i'm in a 16 by uh 96 canvas um so each one of these little gray squares that we see here is 16 by 16 though so this is 16 down and 16 across um just like that so the important thing is is to keep these all consistent so we need to have we need to have six 16 by 16 squares to start off with and then what i did was i went ahead and i drew this guy first he's literally just just basically a a cube that's rounded edges and then he has little feet on the bottom now i want to keep this super simple so he has a little face in the, in the middle um and then there's one color to shade that base color so we have the base color the base color for the skin is this bad boy right here this color like that and then i used one singular other color to use as the shadow for that so that's the shadow that's coming on top of the little helmet or you know whatever this the top of this guy's body because he all he literally just is a head he's literally just a, head, a walking head he's a head with legs um and then uh, we have the eyes which is just black which is the same color as um the line art and we have white for the whites of the eyes and then we have the blue the base blue and then we have one singular color to shade the darker colors for the blue um now i use this a lot here on the feet so I give the feet a bunch of shape so if I didn't have this this color down there it would look like that which is like the old school Mega Man it looks kind of like the original Mega Man type beat um, but having this makes it like this little part right here it's like maybe a bit further back and then his toes kind of have a little bit of light on them which looks kind of cool there I like that a lot and then I did what I did was I just took that same sprite and I just hit M to drag a box over top of this hit control C and control V moved it on over and you can see all I did was I took his left foot, I selected this whole thing right here, and then just made it bigger. I just scaled it up like that, and that's literally all that I did. Um, and then I also made this one, uh, I pulled this one in by, by a couple. So I pulled his right foot inwards like that, and then I made his other foot bigger. And that's how we got this right over here. And then all we have to do, if we want him to make it look like he's walking um, in your um, animation, all you need to do is just take this bad boy and then flip him. And you see when I flip him horizontally, which is the the, um, sh sh the shortcut is Shift H. So we do that real quick. Shift H. You can see it looks like he's walking. So super super simple. Walk cycle. Literally the easiest thing you can ever possibly do. Um, it looks cute and it works. There you go. So that's nice. And the same thing for uh, this bad boy over here, which is just from the from the behind. Um, so I just really got rid of all of his all of his characteristics. So all of his face, all of his eyes those things are gone okay he has no more face that's unfortunate i don't know what happened but he needs to get his money back um so now we only have him from behind as you can see and then we have everything's in shadow on the legs there and then for the walk cycle let me actually put that back there we go for the walk cycle all i did was get rid of this leg on the left hand side make it look like, make it look like he's um pulling it forward and then once again walk cycle same thing super super simple extra literally as simple as it can get literally there it could not be something more simple than this walk cycle from behind there you go. Um, and then we have these ones over here, which these are a little bit more difficult, obviously, because, you know, we have to add the face back in on a different angle. Um, so I have this one from the side, which, again, I've just taken this this default little guy right here and then copy pasted him over, over this side. And then I changed it up a little bit, added a couple of things. We have this nice little cutout piece here for his helmet. And then I have, you know, his face from the side, from the side view. Um, and then we have the leg. Well, we only have one leg on this side because it's, you know, the side of his, 
body. We only have one leg there, um, which is super simple. And then for this, this took a little bit of finessing, um, but I went I went ahead and I made it look like he's like doing a little run, a cute little run thing. Um, so that's really really um, nice. Now the, the 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 issue with this is is that um, you cannot just flip these ones back and forth to get the the walk cycle to work properly. So you'd have to go and toggle back and forth between um, between this. Okay, I can't draw between this and between this. Now you could, in, in theory, add a second um, one of these little uh, guys right here, and you could bring the other leg in, in like upwards instead. So it could be, it would be like this um, instead of the way that it is right now. So it would look like, but I mean, this one would be bigger. This one would be bigger because it's in the front, and then this one would be smaller, and you'd move it like this, so that this leg could is clearly the one that it's in. You know in focus at the time or whatever what have you so it looks a little bit um a little bit better but for this super super simple um sprite we're not going to do all of that we're just going to leave it the way that it is and when you toggle back and forth between these two um that would be good enough so ladies and gentlemen like i said a six literally a sprite with only six um only six <laughs> Uh, frames here or six uh, uh, yeah, images uh, rather so this is literally the easiest you can get it's literally a two frame animation for all of these um, like I said you could always expand this um, do more things with it you could do 45 degree angles you know you can do diagonal you know lines whatever you can you can make it so that you don't have to flip all of these in your um, in your uh, uh, game creation you can do that you can flip them all here and then have them flipped you can have the left version the right version the whatever version you know but this is as simple as a pixel art sprite gets ladies and gentlemen i hope you learned something new i hope something inspired you today i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye